Namaste all, this is Dr. Meenakshi. So, we are dealing with the point congenital disorders, right? My previous, in previous videos, I explained the uh, summarization, that is the overall features of congenital disorders. What is congenital disorder and which all diseases will come under congenital disorders, right? So, we will start the series of diseases of congenital disorders. The first uh, disease in congenital disorders is Rhythiogenia vicaris, that is uh, congenital heart diseases. What are these congenital heart diseases? The heart diseases which occurs by birth only for a newborn baby are, um, are known as congenital heart diseases. So, in our Ayurvedic aspect, this Rudhyajanya vicaras have some specific uh, causes, specific nidana. What are those? First thing is Bija Dushti. Uh, Bija Dushti means maybe Artava Dushti or Sperm, Om Dushti. So, the main factor that is Bija Dushti means maybe Shukra Dushti or Arthava Dushti. Uh, any uh, Dushti for this both, any visitation of this both will cause the CHD, one thing, first thing. And second is Arthava Dushti, especially Arthava Dushti, why? Uh, in Bija Dushti it will come, Arthava means specially Ovum will come, sperm and Ovum, right? In Bija Dushti. But in Arthava Dushti, Especially, as we know, the Matruja uh, Bhava. Matruja Bhava is specially for the uh, heart related things will be developed, organogenesis, right? So, uh, in, if any visitation for this Arthava Dushti will cause the congenital heart disease, second thing. And third thing is the main uh, Dhatu, which Dhatu, Rakta Dhatu and which Dosha is involved, Kapha Dosha for the uh, organogenesis of this development of uh, functional of uh, heart related uh, systems, right? So, if any vitiation for this Rakta Dhatu and Kapha Dosha will create the uh, Rudhya Janya Vikaras. And uh, the next factor is other factors like maybe Garbashya Dushti or Kala Dushti or maybe um, Ahara Vihara of a pregnant conceived uh, lady may hamper the organogenesis. So, it will hamper the, uh, it will cause the Radhyajanya Vikaras. And uh, the another thing is any Mithya Charya, uh, in uh, maybe Maituna Charya, in uh, any visitation of in Maituna Charya or during conceive or during the uh, implantation, if any hampered causes which will hamper the organogenesis may cause the Radhyajanya Vikaras. This congenital heart disease, symptoms of this congenital heart disease in our Ayurveda, especially it is compared with the Kapha Paitika uh, Rudraga. The main clinical features are same of Kapha Paitika Rudraga and Radhyajanya Vikara CHD. So, what is this Kapha Paitika Rudraga clinical features? Maybe Shwasavaroda, Klama, Tandra, Aruchi, Jwara, <coughs> Radhyadrava, Alpanidra or Moha. These all will clinical features will come under Kapha Paitika Rudroga. So, it is compared with the Rudhya Janya Vikara as a modern part. And the coming for the treatment of this uh, Rudhya Janya Vikaras, uh, we can consider in three stages. Either the child continues of with the problem in whole life or uh, in initial stage it can vanish the problem or in last stage we may have death of a baby. In three, these three stages, we can treat the Rudhya Janya Vikaras. Either we can treat a baby with along with the problem whole life or we can manage the problem or we can, uh, baby will have a death in chronic stages. Uh, coming for the modern part of Rudhya Janya Vikaras, that is CHD, congenital heart diseases. The causes of uh, congenital heart diseases are categorized under three conditions, that is maybe genetic, may be environmental and may be hereditary. And uh, coming for genetic causes, may be single mutant gene or chromosomal anomalies or multifactorial inheritance will be cause for the congenital heart disease. Coming for the environmental, may be any viral infections for the uh, pregnant woman during the first prime minister may cause the congenital heart disease or any contraindicated drug if she have in the first trimester, it may cause the congenital heart disease 
or may be any environmental factors like metabolic disturbance in the mother can cause congenital heart disease this is about environmental third point is hereditary if hereditary has we know from ancestors if she, if they have history of hereditary of congenital heart disease and that can cause the newborn baby the congenital heart disease in a newborn these are all about the causes now coming for the type of chd that is congenital heart disease the condition of the congenital heart disease is in in the form of two that is cyanotic and acyanotic cyanotic means they, there will be uh, decreased oxygen level in a body uh, maybe with chd they may have cyanotic problem or without without cyanotic problem these two conditions are differentiated in congenital heart disease next thing is symptoms of a congenital heart disease uh, first thing is we can rule these all are the clinical features which we will get in other diseases also but through x-ray or through higher investigations only we will get to know congenital heart disease but the main or basic clinical features will be exercise intolerance dyspnea fatigue palpitation decreased appetite or loss of appetite feeding difficulties will be present frequent infections will occur in a baby or sleep disturbance the baby can't sleep uh, calmly for more time or cyanotic as we saw the condition will be cyanotic or acyanotic and syncope these all will be clinical features present in a baby uh, through this we can diagnose has a further investigations coming for treatment first of all we should treat according to the clinical features present whatever clinical features the babies have we should suppress them or we should correct them though if they have any associated features then we should go for further investigation and we can uh, correct the pathological changes in a um, heart that is pathological changes will be again in different stages like asd vsd <coughs> tetralogy of fallet and uh, these have these all pathological changes have uh, incidence list as i mentioned i'll men i'll show in the slide incidence of this vsd vsd means ventricular septal defect uh, the chances of occurring this vsd overall incidence is 25 to 30 percent and uh, patent duct act, uh, arteriosis is a condition that have 10 percent and uh, Uh, asd as i mentioned that is arterial septal defect it has 7 to 10 percent and uh, <coughs> tetralogy of fallet 5 to 9 percent and uh, correlation of aorta 6 percent these are incidents uh, in our do- daily routine life the babies are occurring uh, some i collected and i showed you in a slide you can see so what uh, these are the pathological changes the chd is congenital heart disease overall heart disease but these all are the pathological changes uh, different type of pathological changes present in a congenital heart disease whereas has a sh- i shown the differentiation of pathologies in a slide you can see whereas vsd is uh, there will be the abnormal communication is present between the two ventricles whereas in uh, asd there will be d- different communication in arterial and uh, tetralogy of fallet will be the uh, three conditions involved uh, three three to four conditions pathological changes involved in tetralogy of fallot these are the um, diseases covered in chd this is, that is congenital heart disease this disease is one of the um, congenital heart disease this, that is surge vyadhi this is the first disease and uh, this disease we can see has a shown in the incidence in 10% of a babies we can see this and uh, in initial stage or the uh, pathological changes in is in initial stage then we can recover it in a um, age group particular age group but in either conditions in madhyama roga that is in madhyama uh, if it is in a um manageable stage we can manage the disease with the problem only whole life by medicines by supplementaries 
and uh, the other stage is if it is in chronic stage pathological changes are very chronic then uh, either we should go for operating or we may have death of a baby this this is about the congenital heart disease that is in ayurveda hrudayajanya vikara thank you